So in general, as a rule of thumb, ser is for permanent state, like the day or the time. Soy alto, I'm tall, permanent state. And estar is for temporary states, like an emotion. Estoy, I am triste, I am sad. It's a temporary emotion, I hope. Entonces, chicos, Harry es de Londres. Harry is from London. It's a permanent thing. I was born here. This makes sense to us, all right? Harry está en Londres. Using estar now. Harry is in London. And you could argue, okay, it's a temporary thing. You know, I could be in Madrid next month. So we're going to use estar here. But this is the trick. I want you to, guys to remember this. Whenever we're talking about location of someone or something, we're going to use estar. So estar is for location. I don't want you to think temporary or permanent. Just whenever we're thinking location, use estar. And I'll show you why. El hospital está en el centro. The hospital is in the center. So I don't want to be getting confused here. Oh, but it's not really permanently there because it could be destroyed by a tornado in a month or they could build another building somewhere else and it could move, blah, blah, blah. No. Location, estar. Location, estar. So in this case, it's something. It's a hospital. El hospital está en el centro. Or Harry está en el centro. That someone or something is in the center. Estar, location. Ojo. Okay, this is going to really annoy you. It annoyed me when I first found out about it. But ojo, not this bit. Ojo means I in Spanish. But it also means watch out, be careful. So ojo, chicos. This is the bit that's going to annoy you. So you say, okay, Harry, location, estar, perfect. So in English, if I want to say the concert is in the stadium, that's in English. And I want to say that in Spanish, okay, location, it's a stadium, concert happening in a stadium, estar. And I go, no. And you're going you're gonna to quit the video, you're going to throw a tantrum. It's flipping annoying, but it is the Spanish we know and love. It's actually el concierto es en el estadio. So we use ser here. And the reason is because ser is used for events. So location, always use estar, location of something or someone, except if it's for an event. So in this case, the concert, you're going to use ser. And I hope that made sense to you. If you want to know what ahí, ahí, allá is, the difference between them, watch the video below. Super quick explanation. Hope that helped, chicos. Please do leave a comment. Like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. Que tengas un buen día. Have a great day. Ciao.